The next model that we are going to see in our modern approach of portfolio selection is Sharpe's single index model. So W.E. Sharp in the year 1964 justified that portfolio risk is to be identified with respect to their return co-movement with the market and not necessarily with respect to within the security co-movement of a portfolio. That means he said that if you are trying to justify what is the portfolio risk, don't only look at the uh, movement of the prices of your uh, portfolio, but see how the, how the portfolio uh, prices overall is moving along with the uh, moving along with the market prices. That means basically what he said is do not concentrate only on a uh, standard deviation but also concentrate on beta because standard deviation is the volatility from the trend analysis that means over the period how the prices have been fluctuating where in beta we compare the price fluctuation of a particular portfolio or security uh, along with the market. So that's exactly what was uh, said by Sharp W.E. in the year 1964 in this particular model. He goes beyond and says that you need to establish a ranking of your excess return to beta ratio. So you need to calculate your excess return to beta ratio for all your securities and then you need to put them into ranking. So how we do it? Model concluded that the desirability of a security for its inclusion is directly related to its excess return to beta ratio where, where the formula for calculating excess return to beta ratio is ri minus rf divided by beta where ri is your return of a security or security return rf is your risk free return and beta is the security or the risk of a security or beta of a security right so basis this you are trying to construct a uh, this ratio that is your excess return to beta ratio and then you're going to put them into rank and the best rank uh, securities will be selected in your portfolio. Now the number of securities in the portfolio and the percentage investment in each security can be calculated as follows. So one more way that whether you should be selecting a particular security in the portfolio or not is through the method of cutoff rate. So the cutoff rate for the selection of a security into a portfolio is determined by the following formula where cutoff rate is basically your market variance uh, into summation of ri minus rf into beta the whole divided by your security error variance the whole thing would be divided by one plus again your market variance summation of your beta divided by your security error variance now this looks a very complex this is a little bit of statistics involved into it so what would be your market variance so whatever would be your market index prices, you try to calculate the average, let's say, let's say for the end period of time, you try to calculate what is your mean uh, market index prices and then you calculate the variance of the individual observations of the market index prices from the mean, which is basically X minus X bar, where X bar is your mean uh, market price x is your individual observed market price so you calculate x minus x bar you put a square and divide it by n what you get is your variance so so that's exactly what market variance will be known as and a security return we all know what is our expected return from a security ri uh, we calculated it through capm model or capm model capital asset pricing model in previous videos so that's the way you calculate your RI, RF is your risk free return and you multiply it by beta. So beta we know that uh, when you try to see what is the volatility of the price of your stock when you compare it to the market, that's how you calculate your beta. Now important to see here is your error variance. So what would be your error variance? Now most of the numbers that we are taking here or the observations that we are taking here are on the basis of estimate. Now we cannot work on 100% degree of freedom, we will need to give some scope of error there because our data or our estimate or of, of the observation cannot be 100% correct. So the, the error part which is there will be known as security error variance. So the observation might be different from your uh, actual, actual observation would be different from your expected. So since there is a chance of, uh, there's a, since there's a chance of variance between the uh, expected and actual, 
we have got something called security error variance. So we put all these numbers into our formula here and what we can get is a cutoff value or cutoff rate. Now this cutoff rate would be the highest and if you include one more security into it, you are going to reduce this uh, cutoff rate significantly. So it's very important that you decide a cutoff rate, you calculate the cutoff rate and this cutoff rate should be your basis of including a including a particular security inside your portfolio. Now the number of securities in the portfolio and the percentage investment in each security can be calculated as follows. Now what should be the weightage that should be given to one security or one particular asset class to another? What should be the formula? So the formula is given here. It should be weightage is equal to ZI divided by summation of ZI. That means whatever are the uh, total uh, ZI calculation or Z calculation for all your securities and the particular security that you're talking about, we try to see the ratio from the both and that is the weightage you'll be giving it to that particular security. But how to calculate ZI? The formula is BI, which is your beta of a security divided by your uh, variance. This is basically your variance or security error variance and you multiply it by uh, return of a port return of a security minus risk free return divided by again your uh, BI which is your security uh, beta and minus C which is your cutoff rate. So by putting the numbers into this particular formula you can get your ZI. You get ZI for each of your security you add it up that becomes your numerator and for a particular uh, security the ZI that you have calculated you put it as a numerator and the summation is your denominator you get to know what is the weightage that has been given that should be given to a particular security uh, in your portfolio and this is the way Sharp has given his approach to construct a portfolio in, in his particular model we, which we just saw now.